Uh, Welcome back, everybody. It's been a uh, been a long while since we've been here. We appreciate you coming in tonight live or later on YouTube. And we are here after a period of time where we left off our uh, party member party member Krenovic has found himself in prison. Who could who could have guessed that? And the rest of the party is currently upstairs in the garrison um, with their new friend Echo, and they are trying to meet with Claw, who had just entered the chambers of the big chambers. Um, prior to that, Neil took a bit of a leave from the party for a little bit, and some things happened. Now Neil is back as well, and they're all they're all together again, except for Krenovic, which I, for one, am appalled. The party doesn't seem extreme. too uh, concerned about. So, yeah. Without further ado, Belden, Claire, Neil, we need and the DPS. Echo have entered the meeting chambers of the leader of the Crimson Blades. Uh, a uh, feline character, black fur, named Flaw with a K. <sighs> Greetings. Welcome to my establishment. I hope the city has been treating you well. Yes. Had been treated as well as I guess. Well that's good. I hear you come asking a favor. Yes. Our friend uh was recently imprisoned for disturbing the peace at a dwarf. In reality, he's just an idiot. As you're talking, you notice he is idly scratching the arm post of his chair with his right hand. It's just scratching. Ah, oh, yes. The Dorvin fellow. Kila had quite a time with him. Seemed to uh, enjoy bringing that one in. Did he fight back a lot? No, he was rather obedient. Did she teach us how? Now that's a surprise. He's a little missing Danny, It's kind of weird. He's like, dude, you shouldn't be doing it. That's a great idea! He'll learn eventually, or he won't. Find himself in more prisons like this one here. So, why should I release him? As will be your best friend. Is there anything that we can do for you that sort of a quid pro quo hmm i am a bit preoccupied with the vipers right now and his scratching turns into more of a kind of a topping Do you need any help with uh, your your friends? Vipers are always in trouble. 
I can handle that. I am a bit more concerned at the disappearances. I'm sure finding a solution will persuade the populace to referring the rule of the Crimson Blade. However, I also hear that you've been uh, taking some company of a certain priestess as a great. I mean, we asked her a couple of questions because we saw her on the street. But... What, are, what are your thoughts of her? I mean, She's kind of a holy type, so I don't think she's up for that kind of type of activity. She's very persistent. And I am untrusting of her. She's Seems reasonable. relatively new here, all things considered. Hasn't really done a whole lot to gain my trust. So if that is something that interests you, maybe gathering more information about the priestess or giving her suggestions on how to help gain influence with the Crimson Blades, so be it. So uh, what kind of information are you looking for? In terms of the priestess? Yeah. I want to know where she came from. She does not share much information of where she came from. Or what is it? I know she wants to spread her word of her faith, but... <sighs> Religion is a difficult thing, especially in these times. And I understand her chosen are the ones who have established the beacons out on the roads, the ones you see in the cities. But it seems more of a grab for power. Because that's really all they have to offer for those beacons. Which, not to say that it is a lot, but what else, what else do they have? In terms of the disappearances, there seems to be no rhyme or reason. All we know is mostly children, mostly orphans. So every once in a while, a rather grumpy old fool may get taken up, which in a way is kind of a blessing, but there seems to be no locations that are more persistent. There seems to be no pattern of when or where they disappear from. And there's no sign of where they go. Now I'm sure you've realized there are quite a few abandoned buildings in this city. There's too many to uh, search thoroughly. But enough of the city. How are your travels to the city? roads outside the city safe? I wouldn't necessarily say safe. Depends on the day. Especially in the night. What sort of troubles did you, did you come across on your way here? A lot of undead. Another large creepy creature with a music box. Kind of tilts his head a little bit. Yes, there are a few of those around. They seem one. Yes. Um. They never. They never see more than one. At least not that I know. Of. They seem to show up to hunt things. They mostly leave people alone unless they 
get a little too close. Of course, if they don't leave people alone, I probably wouldn't find out about it. But from the reports I heard, they tend to leave folks alone and tend to go after the undead and demons and the like. No one knows where they came from. But When you say demons, does that also include those with demon ancestry? Asking for a friend. Um, I have a feeling if they were to go after tieflings, uh, that the cities with the tieflings in them would be having some difficulties. But I don't know. for all I know, tieflings are fine. I haven't heard otherwise, but I haven't heard anything saying that they are, so... So you said you faced a lot of undead? On your way, see? What's that? Uh, who was that who uh, sort of stopped us at that parade? Was that the Blades or the... Uh, yeah, Vipers? Yeah, they weren't very nice. What's this now? Did you have guards set out at the bridge? Before you came into town? No. I would not post men at the bridge. There's people at the bridge trying to right past cross. The only folks I have sent out were guards of Trades. Two or three tradesmen. A couple of wagons and horses. Um, one of them might have been. Yes. There was a camp about a day's out that was torn to shreds and bodies were thrown everywhere. Wagon was destroyed and horses were destroyed. said there were my men on the bridge. I don't know if they were in the line. There was they might have been the vipers. I wouldn't put it past them. Kill my men. Take the bridge. Man money. Seems right up there. Scheming ways. As I recall, we didn't have to pay. We did have to pay them to get past. Which is too far, which is too far. Attacking me and my men here is one thing. Attacking traitors, bringing in sell goods is another thing. I may have to do something a little more drastic. Well, I thank you for the information. You're welcome. He kind of looks over his left shoulder to a back corner of the room. Looks that way for a moment. And straightens back over to you. With that information, in fact, you have done a task for us. may have need of chasing down a, a demonic presence that, or devilish presence that uh, may have resulted in your aid, but I can release your friend for a time while you gather information. If you do not come up with anything fruitful, you will return to imprisonment and serve out his term. Just 
how we're all aware when this is true. It's only two weeks. As long as he behaves. And uh, if you try to run, Echo here is being held responsible. And then, of course, I will send men down for you. Naturally. That being said, you will have two days to find me useful information about the disappearances. Where the last people went missing. <sighs> kind of stops for a moment. Let's see, it was a couple days ago. The last place people had seen them was in the southeast. quadrant toward the farmlands but no one knows when they disappeared just know where they saw them last could have been minutes before they were taken could have been hours it's a hard thing to track Last one was a child. Female, if I recall correctly. About nine years of age. Do not know if a name was given. It was a frequent spot for her. People would come and give her food. I think the person who reported her missing just noticed she wasn't there that day, where she usually was. Is it dog girl? Uh, stares up and thinks for a moment. It was either human or half. set up a housing for us to reside in, maybe start a small business down the road. Tell you what. But for right now, it's nice to sleep without having to pay. Well, I hear you're, you're, you're been well, pretty well covered over at the, the, the moon. Um, if what you provide me is satisfactory to this issue. I can look into a suitable arrangement of a building. We'll need some work, which won't come free, but I may be able to, to obtain the rights to a That is all. Your friend should be waiting for you by the gate. I've already sent a word. Thanks. Uh, 
thank you, Clark. It was a pleasure meeting you. Good luck out there. Thank you. And he kind of slowly turns around, waves his hand, and the door is open. Mind you. Nice try. Ellen slowly walks out, looks at the other two. Just get out of here. The guards by the door close the doors behind you. You make your way out. Go find the dwarf, I guess. Just listen, it'll be easier to hear up before we see him. <laughs> We're smelling. Maybe this might have helped him out a bit. Learn to keep his mouth quiet a little bit. I'll believe it when I see it. Go walking down by the gate. Start looking around for Kranovic. Okay. He is uh, easy to spot. He is standing next to the the guard that took him in. She has a nice firm grip around the back of his neck. Teach me that grip. That looks like a mighty useful trick. How far am I in? From uh, Felden. You're about 10 feet away. Oh, so very close. Yeah. Shut up. She jerks you a little bit when you did we learn anything, or are you still going to be in it? Yes, I've learned, I've learned my lesson. She's kind of like side-eyeing him as he's answering. Well, for your sake, I hope you have. Otherwise, I will come back for you. I will not be so gentle. For now, I release you into their custody, and she pushes kind of towards you. Do I owe any fines? Not yet. Do poorly with this task that you have been given, and you'll owe more than a fine. Keeping an eye on him, Kilo. Really? How was that pronounced? Sorry. You had it correct. Good. If I hear anything about you, I will come find you again. Two days or not. I promise you won't. She sounds like she's serious. Oh, I know she's serious. Now I must go. I, I lean over. I lean over. Lean over to Felden. Seems a bit different. <laughs> Scared. Seems I have some snakes to squash. She walks up. I'm also not a fan of snakes. So now that the group is reunited, what do you all decide to do? Echo is still with you at this time as well. So did they explain anything to you, Krenovic, before you were released to us? Or no? Uh, they explained to me that... Um, that shooting your mouth off into... Um, at a different race than you uh, gets you jail time. And they don't seem to care about what I think, or feel, or say, or do. All right, it sounds like you learned everything that you needed to. Um, just to let you know, I think I speak for all of us when I say, good. Now all you have to do is apply it. 
Uh, hey, but about your parole, I think. I need to. I need to come clean here. Um, I. I'm not saying it's justified. I don't. I'm not doubling down on anything that I did. Okay. I'll let you choose whether or not you want to hear me out. If you say no, you can drop it and just move on. That's sad. Okay. My parents and the entire family were attacked by a tribe of war and elves. You said what? I, I held their hands as they passed. Oh, poor baby. Ever since then, I swore to myself that I would... that I would, uh... avenge them. So every elf I saw called them out thinking it would be give me that one step closer to my revenge. But all it did was land me in jail. But there, there's a better and, way to go about doing Well, this this experience has shown me that revenge is pointless because they're still dead. So, me, me complaining or shooting my mouth off or being racist is not going to, not going to change anything. So let's just move forward. Something that Claw said that I'm kind of curious about. So, Renovic, you had mentioned that you had for we saw it, or in my case, heard about it, that you knew about the music box, even, that it was at some point of the attack. What are you talking about? Uh, at... No, it's just... Like, this, that session that you... Or heard it? Am I making that up? Alright. Krenovic awoke after being knocked out, saying that he had heard the music box and seen the creature in his history. Oh. Dream. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did they explain to you the conditions of your parole? I'm on parole. Yes, 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 you are. Yeah, they're, they're not just releasing you. I was under the impression they were just releasing me. I've been through enough. Remember how she said she was releasing you to the bar care? And she'll see you in a few days? If we don't get a job done in the next two days, we'll go back for two weeks. Oh, I heard that very clearly. And there's no way I'm going back there, so I'm willing to help you guys with whatever you need. I understand that. But please don't send me back home. I thought of a new book idea for you or a new idea. You could start creating prison cells. You think about it. Best place to sleep, which one has the best food. What's wrong? What is the matter with you? You get a laugh from the girl. Stuff from last night, but think about it. You're all on the road. You need a place to crash. What's the worst thing you can do to get a couple days stay in a fine facility with food? I mean, think about fine it. facility? I was tortured in there. Not to mention, I still don't have my bar. I know. Relax. Friend Haveldon may have helped you out on that one. Just, just, just go with it right now. I'm willing to embrace any sort of silver lining that this will carry me to because 
I'm not going back there, so let's kill some people if we need to. We're not killing people. We need to investigate. Oh, that's not our mission? No, our mission is to investigate this and gather information on people are going to Okay, then maybe we should start there. Okay. Oh, I said it was in the southeast that that girl was kidnapped? Yeah, I thought... I was gonna say he was told he would have all the information. I... Yes, this is the last person went missing was a 10 year old girl, human or half elf, out by the farms in the south of Squadron. Alright, let's put on our detective caps and check it out. Anybody Where are the detective caps? Do you have them? Do we put an order out for them? How do we get the caps? I'd like to just punch him in the arm. Not like hard, just enough that he feels it. Do a strength check for me. Do a what? Strength check for me. Oh boy. Can I do like a dexterity check to counter that attack? Okay, so you hit him. It doesn't do anything, but you hit him. Do I at least say ow? No. Up to you. Dudes. No. Okay, well, that's better than what I got in the prison, so. Thank you, friend. All right, let, let's walk toward the, the southeast part of the city. All right. Which way is east? East would be to your right. Okay. Thank I you. say east is this way. Yeah, when you come out of the the keep, um, it is facing north. It's very planned and coordinated that way. But as you are walking, um, do a perception check for me. All of us? Yes. Okay. We are not very good detectives. Yeah. Just, okay. Nope. Just walking along. I don't get on no time. Oh, also for the folks wrong, yeah. watching, um, Renovic, what do you see with your dwarf eyes? I'm trying to find out. The party oh, also there. leveled up to level four last time, so there's that. Oh, come. By the way, did I tell you that the prison guard threatened to have my face trampled on by berserkers? You turned him down. Yes. I'm nothing but advocating for my own self-preservation. There's one thing you should learn when I'm when I'm here with you. It would be that. So turn to head east. Okay. You're heading just straight east. Well, I mean, generally taking, southeast, I would imagine. Taking the east, heading out, and then I head south. Okay. Are you going to head? So there are two main streets heading <laughs> south. Um, there's the one right next to the building you came out of, and then there's one closer to the east gate. Take the one closest to the barracks. So, yeah, you walk a good 15, 20 feet, and you turn south, going along the main set of roads. Yeah. I'll roll another perception check. Ooh. Good job, Claire. Not great job, Krenovic. Still detoxing, it's okay. 
right. Um, I know that was a high roll for Claire, but with not having eyes, can't really tell what buildings are abandoned or just not occupied at the moment. Do you feel the vibrations coming through the floor? Like, sense if there's movement in them? Yeah, but it could just be people at work. Gotcha. So... Yeah. Not having eyes is, is uh, harmful in this situation. Closest to the east gate, or you said, or the one closest to the uh, closest to the base or the fort. Uh, you, I was told the closest to the garrison, the barracks. Okay. So you're heading down. Um, from what the rest of you can tell, these buildings seem. Occupied on the main stretch of, of the the city street. Now, are we anywhere close to where I was the last session? No, you or were in the northeast. Okay, good. Last session. Just wondering. <laughs> um, it's then it's done on you Echo is nowhere to be seen like oh. you all were walking together and now he's just gone well it looks like he had something else to do or we were supposed to follow and did not notice he was gone I feel like that's more likely Should How we go look we for him? Notice that he was gone. What's that? How far have we gone from the last time we've seen him? Um, last time you saw him, you were inside the the keep. Inside the keep, or he was at the gate when he said it's to the east. Yeah. Maybe we should look for him. Are there any crows nearby? There doesn't seem to be any crows nearby. Okay. okay. Now what comes? Do we look for Echo or do we look for the missing people? Well, I mean, Two he days. knows where we're going, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Maybe he had an errand. Maybe he had to use the little blood mages um, room. There. Yeah, let's just continue on towards the farm. Alright, you continue heading south. Um, you pass a few side streets to your left. And you're going down the last possible turn to go eastward. Um, the rest of the road south eventually leads to uh, a manor that is usually used for bigger gatherings. Um, usually, it used to be where the leader of the town lived. Hasn't really been used. Does anything look suspicious like does it seem like there's been anybody there for uh... that that place is still quite a ways down the road um it's a good okay. 100 or so 100 200 feet away okay well, but 
I'd like to approach if possible. Okay, and you notice on either side of where this manor is are farmlands stretching out on both sides. good crops um it's it's late summer at this point early fall um, some things have been harvested others are still growing there's a lot of corn and wheat um, that are on the forefront those are the biggest crops and seems to be the ones that they plant closest to the main sections of the street um, there are other plants way off in the distance. You just can't tell what they are. Okay. I'd like to grab just like an armful of corn. <laughs> so the fields are about 200 feet away from the road. Oh, never mind that. That's too much work. So I guess I'll just continue to that big manor house. Okay. You make your way to the the manor, and standing in front of it are two guards with crimson blades marks on their chests of, of their uh, heavy armor. Okay. So it looks like this building is being used in some capacity. And they're just kind of chit-chatting. Standing by a tree, just, just talking. Alright, I guess I will approach. Okay be like hey new friends um so uh main man uh claw there um sent us to start looking for some of the uh missing people who've been going missing around here just wondering if you've seen anything suspicious or if you know where uh a, a disappearance of uh young girl around this area? Only suspicious thing I've seen is you lot. Oh, we're legit. Totally legit operation here. We're actually on an errand for Claw. Yes, we are. I know. Let's say you. I ain't know nothing about no missing girl. Thank you for your time. Just kind of eyes you as you begin to leave. Now, did it seem like they were being truthful? I don't know. We have to do an insight check for that. Okie dokie. Don't know either way. Not very insightful. Wow. All right, what do you wish to do now? Um, is there anything that looks out of place around this general area? Seems pretty quiet. Doesn't seem nothing, nothing glaringly wrong with anything. Do you notice that the the two guards that were chatting when you came by are kind of nervously watching? 
Like they should be somewhere else, but they're waiting here to see what you do, sort of thing. Step behind some bushes and stuff, or yeah. I mean, I was thinking if there was like another building nearby that we could sneak behind. There are no buildings in this section, there's a good few hundred feet between the last street that you can go east or west on and this house, and it's all just greenery and shrubs, and then the fields on either side. So, let's find a good shrubbery. Are you saying you want us to build a shrubbery? No. Oh. You have to find a shrubbery. All right. Um, Do I see anywhere that's suitable for hiding? There's there's plenty of options. Okay. So I'd like to try to hide. So All right. Stealth check. This is my jam. Is that uh, group wide for all of us? If you're trying to hide, sure, I'm into hiding these days. Sure, why not? Cool, first good roll of the night. Well, then's not gonna try and hide, he's gonna stay out in the open. Okay, okay. So, to walk down the road like he's walking away. Okay. So you notice as you're you're getting into the into the bushes and things, and you're like, yes, perfect spot. And you're sitting there, all nice and nice and still. And you look out and you see the one that was talking to you earlier. He's kind of still chatting to the, the the other guard, but the other guard's looking directly where you all went to hide. He's just glaring. E the bush. And you see his hand kind of go down to his belt. Hmm. Surely he's not reaching for a weapon or anything like that. Me. Kind of looks at the other guard and let's say, shut up, and he nods toward your direction. Felton's well, still walking down the road, and then all of a sudden he just turns around. Have you seen the random person he finds? Have you seen my friend? I haven't seen her for a few days. Your friend? What does she look like? She's young. I say normally, I, we normally find her around these parts with food. She's looking for food or handouts. A young woman? Yeah, a young female. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen her for a few days. Is it? looking for her for the past couple days. She's normally around here somewhere. I haven't they, found her at all. They look confused and just kind of continue on their way. Hmm. 
Now, are they coming right for us? Um, they, they wait for a moment, and they know you see them looking at you, looking at them looking at you. <laughs> and when you make no move to leave, they do draw their swords and begin walking towards you. I will be no. the bush. Get out of the bush, get out of the bush. <laughs> Cannot get out of the bush, for I am the bush. Be There's the bush. Coming, coming over here. Sheldon continues to kind of look back over his shoulder to see what's going on as he continues to try and ask people in the area if they've seen the girl or seen the small girl that knows where to find it. So I will pop out of the bush and be like, there's my gold coin that I just dropped. And I will, uh, start walking toward Felton. Uh, roll Tell a thing. perception check. Perception. They, they stop and they're watching you. Just know right, we're watching you now. I found the coin that I was looking for. I mean, be on your I feel way. Like you were before, but of we have a job Sorry to get to. Sorry, bother you, sirs. Okay, then uh, we will not keep you. And as Good you, day. As you walk toward Elden, you see the other two walk, turn and walk the opposite direction. Um, they have been on patrol, and only stopped because you guys were acting weird. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a fun little distraction. <laughs> you found a gold coin? I didn't know you dropped a gold coin. Can I see it? No, it's my special gold coin. Oh. All right, so shall we continue our search, I suppose? Yes. Go down that first road to our right. Okay. Heading east? Uh, yeah, heading east, um, our position, of course. Heading north and then east. Alright, so you okay. head back past the windmill and take a right on the street behind it. So do any of these houses... I, I think you had mentioned that these houses look like they were being used, right? Um, these ones here do seem to be being used as well. Should we start knocking on doors, or? Nothing better to do. Alright, so I guess maybe go up to the first house on the corner and knock on the door. Okay. There's a there's a knocking on the door. You hear small little footsteps. And then they stop. And you hear someone hip. And you see like little ponytails in in the in the window above the door. So someone's trying to jump up and look out the window to see who's at the door. I think this might be a child. Sounds and, uh, like one. 
and uh, they they can't look out the window, so then you hear their footsteps run away from the door. I hope I didn't scare them. I've been working on that lately. In prison? It might just be good pairing. If they can't see who's at the door, they don't let them open the door. Mm. That's That's fair. Should we just go in? I, I mean, I don't know how this works. No, we should not just go in. Okay. Glad I asked then. The next house then? Here? Okay. Go up to the next house, knock on the door. I'm coming, I'm coming. This one doesn't sound like a child. You see, uh, really old. see a, a, a metal piece in the door slide. You see a set of eyes peering in. What the hell are you selling? Hello. We're not selling, we're looking. I ain't interested. How do you know what you're interested in if you don't even know what we're looking for? I'm too old for whatever you sickos are interested in, and he slams the metal piece shut. Well, that seems like a bit of a, bit of a loss. So we shouldn't just go in here either, right? No, oh, might end up. Okay. I knock on the door again. I told you I ain't interested. I, I we just have some. Her. I was just wondering if you've seen my friend. I haven't seen her for a few days and I'm getting worried. I ain't seen nothing. If you're smart, you ain't seen nothing either. Oh, so I should stop looking for my friend? Why? You're ma you're making them sad. I don't care. You hear a well then you away from the door. You're not a very nice man. Got that right. Sir what are you trying to hide from us? Oh god. Feel like that's... You, you don't hear anything. Let's go to the next door. Little kid, grumpy old man. The third door. <laughs> third third door. Behind the third door! <laughs> he seemed really eager to get rid of us. I... And, I and he's what he's just said... Want to get what he said, in particular, of the, um, if you're smart, you won't see anything either. Which means what is that supposed to mean? We have seen people that have opened up, spoken up, and had a bad thing I think it means that Claire is obviously the smartest one of all of us, then. <laughs> <laughs> Old man moving around inside. Uh, yes, you only feel yeah. one set of footprints. It seems he has a walking cane as well. You can feel the little thud of the cane as he's walking. He's got three legs. That's kind of weird. Either he's a tripod or he has a cane. Thinking he has a cane. Oh. Is he old? That makes like sense. A, like a shuffle to his walk. Kind of. I, I think he's just tired and crotchety and wants us off his lawn. <laughs> crotchety. It's funny because it sounds wrong. Anyway. Just... Next house. 
Balloons come shooting out of the chimney. Just kidding. <laughs> chimney sweep. Can I do, a, <laughs> can I, can I do a, like a balloon check? <laughs> no. Alright, next house. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. You know, maybe we should ask for candy at the next one. <laughs> Trick or treat! Seems like you're you're setting a trend there, Nil. Uh, you know what they say about people who set trends? They go to prison. No, that's just you. I started a trend. Going to prison. What's that to me? All right, I, I'm, I knock on the next door. Silence. Hello? Hello? Is anybody home? Hello? Public publisher's clearing house. You hear from above you in a little overhang in the, the porch. Hello? Hello? Hey, have you seen any any children lately? We're I don't see anything. Oh. Well, that sounds like a problem. And you look it up. Must mean you're smart. And you look up, and it's just like part of the house has formed a mouth. Oh. And it's just talking to you. Well, that's new. I hear lots of people. Are you a friendly house? I don't know. I'm looking for a... She's about a nine-year-old girl that only hangs out over here looking for food. I haven't seen her for a few days. Lots of people look for food. Fields are right over there. How many of them go missing? Ah. Uh... I don't know. What is this missing? They're not found again or heard again. Like I said, I hear lots of people. Have you ever heard anybody being taken? What would that sound like? like maybe some screaming or like oh, some kind hell? of scuffle? Oh, yeah. Screaming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was some of that. Tell us Where? more about that. Where'd you hear um, it from? There was a scream. And then it was a muffle. It kind of sounded like... <laughs> And then it was quiet. That seemed ominous. Which way was the screaming coming from? Uh, just outside the doorway here. Just in the street. Oh, like inside of you? No. On the street. Oh, okay. Well, where did they go from there, do you know? No. Hmm. Did you hear any names? Like what people are called by from that incident? Or right around that incident? Hmm. 
No. Okay. Thank you, sir, for your help. At least we know if we're in the general vicinity of my friend. Have you a good day. Good <laughs> Anybody asks you again, you are a friendly house. I'm not a house. Oh. What? <laughs> are you? And the, the mouth disappears. <laughs> I'm really confused. The world's the largest mimic in front of us. Everybody take ten steps back. <laughs> well, the fuck didn't eat us. Yeah. Yet. Maybe it was just trying to lull us into a false sense of security. <laughs> Our best lead. The talking house. Or <laughs> it is not actually a house. Whatever it is. So, I, I mean, I feel like I need a few minutes to just kind of process. I'll head back out to the street. And then I would like to try and search around the street and see if I can see, like, anything that's dropped. So, as you go to walk off the porch, you walk through and you walk out the front door of the house. Wait, what? door of the house. Yep. So now you're standing behind your friends. Oh. So we're trapped? So I went to turn and walk away, and now I'm inside the house? You're not in the house. No, you, like, instead of walking, like, off the porch, it looks like you walked through the door. Like, through the closed door. So I'm like in well, a that's intriguing. So does it do that when any of us tries to walk through? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna try to walk down the porch. You walk down the or porch down the and you just poof and then you're walking through the door. I will I'm the also going to do the same. Same thing happens. I would like to use a magic awareness. Okay. Can I do like an arcana check? So well, let's let there is magic do first. everywhere. You are surrounded by magic. What type of magic? It's hard to pinpoint. You are... Nice! There's multiple different types of magic. There's magic to deal with um, trans transportation. There's magic dealing with... Um, just like... Creation. There's cre like creation magic of like the creating the mouth. To talk. Yeah. There's just overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what, what? Do, do I still Do I still feel uh everyone any anywhere around me or it, they just sort of disappear? No, they're right behind you. Oh. Okay. They felt us walking away from you and now we're behind you. Yeah. So you feel their footsteps behind you now. Okay. Well, I'm going to try walk towards them. Okay. Yeah, you walk toward them just fine. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, this is weird. Uh, have we tried to walk into the house from where we are? That's not the only option. Hmm. Right, let's walk into the house, I guess. Okay. There's a lot of magic and stuff inside the house. So you go to walk to the front door. Do you try to push the door open, pull it open? What are you going to do? Um, I'll go for it. 
Okay. The door's locked. Okay, can I... Oh. Can I try to, like, pick the lock? There is no keyhole. Oh. It's just a decorated doorknob. Tiny little, little designs and stuff on it. What does the design look like? It just looks like tr tribal marks. Doesn't look like anything in particular. Okay, what about like the wood around the door? Is there like anything different about it? It's all pretty old, it's weathered. It's to the elements, it all seems the same kind of worn brown color. Okay, so who's got an axe? Or a hammer. And you all can still see hey. the people walking on the street. If we like try to jump over the railing for the uh, the porch. You can try that. Okay. What do I need to do? Uh, just do an athletics check for me. Athletics. Okay. This is not gonna go well. Not as bad as I thought, but okay. not great. So you jump over the railing, and suddenly you are above your friends, and you're falling from the where the mouth was. Help! And you just land in the middle of your friends. How? Okay then. Um, so that didn't work. Claire, what was the guard's name that says if she heard any problems, she'd be coming to get Kranovic? Uh, it was, uh, it was, um, uh, pronounced that, that was, uh, Kila. Kila? Huh. Well, Kranovic, you might be able to help us get out of this, just not the way you like. What do you mean? Well, she said if we she heard any problems coming from you, she'll be coming to get you. I am not going to sacrifice myself. No, all you need to do is start shouting obscenities at the people who are walking by. I am a changed dwarf. I'm not going to do that. I understand that. But did she get stuck here with us? This is only going to backfire. I. Yes, but it's going to be comical. I mean... Okay, what if I do... Hold on, before we do that... Huh? Um, what if I cast uh, Thaumaturgy? So I can... Uh, my voice will boom up to three times as loud as normal. Okay. And uh, I'll just yell for help. Okay. Or... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. It's an unlocked door. Never mind. All right, yeah, we'll just do that. I'm going to yell for help. Okay. Really loudly. You very loudly yell for help, and the people on the street just keep walking by us if they hear nothing. Oh. House, can they not hear us anymore? Do you hear nothing? I want to knock on the door again. Let's knock on the door. Frantically. Banging on the door underneath you. Each time you knock, there's like a little poof of like a light purple.
All right, I gotta be honest with you all. My next, um, my next plan is gonna be to get violent here. So we need to think, think, figure something out here. I do not like being trapped. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think we found where the people are missing off. Missing to. The problem is, is we can't record it. All right. Is there anything that looks out of the ordinary that I could that like that could be some kind of like weakness in whatever magic is going on around us? So you start looking around. And as you look back toward the stairs that lead away from the house, you see on one side, about four feet up on the beam that hold, that sits on either side of the, the staircase, there is a small little circular oval shaped, oval shaped um, carving. Okay. Carved oval shape, and there's something written in a fancy lettering that you can't see from a distance. Okay. Can I get closer? Yeah, you can walk right up to it. You guys, you all have walked past it. And okay, yeah, I'd like to take a close look at it and see if I can make it out. Alright, you walk up to it, and it says, press here. <laughs> okay, is this, uh... I I'm gonna turn to my, my... My, my friends here, and, uh... Just be like, this, this seems like a trap. This is, this is a <laughs> trap, right? What's a trap? Um, something that will, uh, you know will make it a lot worse for us. Well... Like, this just seems too obvious. I pointed out to Krenovic. Krenovic, what would you do? What we need to do is think. And yeah, we've been doing that, but do we press the thing that says press here? Oh, absolutely. I'll do it. Can I press the button? Okay. Okay, Krenovic. fine. Krenovic can press it. Krenovic presses the button. And you see, as he presses the button, poof of the purple. And Krenovic, your finger is stuck there. And you feel this pulsing on your finger. And each time it pulses, you all see a shimmer of light go around the porch. It does this about five, six times, and then it stops. And Krenovic can move his finger. That was scary. I thought I wouldn't get my finger back. All right, so I think you should try to leave the porch now. I should try to leave the porch now. So yeah, you're, that, you're the one who touched the button. Surrounding me, or just the room in general, the porch. What's that? Is that that ambient light that you were referring to surrounding me in any way? Not just the whole porch. It was going right around the edge of the porch, and around the the okay. wall of the house. So I fear that if I leave the porch, I might not be able to get back in. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah, well, it's a lot easier for you to say that than me. Do we still see the button? Yeah, the button's still there. Eldon tries to walk off the porch. Okay, Belden walks off the porch and down the stairs, and he's on the street again. Okay, now Belden, come back in. No. Try, try and walk towards them again. 
Okay, you walk back up the stairs and onto the porch. I gotta walk off again. You walk down the stairs and onto the street. Now you try, uh -huh. Krenovic. What's that? Now you try. I push my way past Krenovic okay. and go down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you make it down the stairs just fine. I'm going to go down the stairs myself. Yep, Claire makes it down the stairs. I'd like to circle around the house to see if I can look at any of the windows if they're low enough, or I think I can see through to see what's inside this set house. Okay. Uh, is Krenovic following us, or is he just going to stay up on the Krenovic's porch? Krenovic's just chilling on the porch. I'm going to walk down the stairs. You... With everyone else, I thought I was pushed weird. No, to you go down the stairs. You try to go down the stairs, and then you do, and everything's fine. <laughs> oh, it was going to lead to something that just did not happen. At all. <laughs> what do you mean? I try to go down the stairs. What happens? And then you're like, you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta make you think something's Call gonna drama. happen. Yeah. That yeah, whole situation was hilarious. Uh, Alright, so oh. Felden walks around the house. Um, all the windows are about porch level, so they're pretty high up. Would you like a lift, Felden? Yeah. Right. I'm, a, I'm gonna lift. Uh, I'm gonna lift Felden up onto my shoulders. And okay. look into the windows. You see no. darkness. It's just dark. How dark? It's dark. No. Like what do you want? Dark. Like unnatural I dark. I request unnatural dark. Unnatural dark, yes. It's dark oh. in there, Dale. Can you feel anything in there? Can I? No. I just love the darkness. What's that? How high? Like, am I like able to see all the way through the windows? Am I like at the level of the window, or am I? Well, you, you're on my. Sh you're yeah. on my shoulders. You're on Claire's shoulders. And then that's going to put you a good amount up. You can see, like, in the center of the window. Okay. And it's still, is it still pulsating with magic? No. Magic's gone? Magic's gone. Well, that's weird. I kind of want to check the door now. Go back and check the door. If we see if we can open it now. All right. So Felden's going back to check the door. Is anyone going? Well, Felden. I'll go. Okay. I'll go. All right. So sounds like everyone but Nils going back to the door. Uh, I mean, I'm. I'm skeptical. I'll watch from the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Uh, you all approach the door. Reach for the doorknob. The door is locked. Well. So what do we do now? Looks like we just stay here. And I don't know. Nil, you see Krenovic's mouth moving, but you hear no words. Oh. It's a miracle! And, and you, you see Claire do motions, and you hear no words. Hey, so I'm gonna be you like, all I can hear each other, hear but Nil cannot hear you, because Nil is not on the porch. Oh, so it's... Oh. Oh. Why is she making a bunch of movements? Yeah, yeah you are <laughs> Good job, Nell. 
back to Nil, and I go running towards Nil. You go and poof, and you walk through the door. And does Nil see this? Yes. Because as soon as you hit that line where it would be past the porch, you just... And you walk through the door again. Yay. So, can Felden come back? I'm behind you. Felden's behind you. The door. Just like last time. What? Just like last time. I pull up my hammer and I hit the door with it. There's the pulsating... No, like I swing, swing yeah. to hit the door. Yeah, this just... A big pulsation. <laughs> I, uh, I do flow your blows on the door. Okay. Pulses of the purple light. Nothing. I go over and I press the button. Okay, you have the same sensation Krenovic did, his finger stuck there, pulses through the thing, and then you can release your finger. Okay. Then I walk off the porch. Yep, you walk onto the street with no. And then push Finally. the Finally! What's oh, that? Wait, what? Come back down. Sorry. So then I been... Never mind. <laughs> The halfling side is coming out tonight, the mischievous side. I'll come back down myself. Okay. Nil, do a perception check for me. Sure thing. Perception. Okay. Um, you can see now that you're look like you're looking at the porch. Um, you see a series of familiar symbols that was trained that you were trained to kind of be able to decipher um, and finding secret locations and drops and things like that. Um, what you're it's, saying it's, is this is like a, a, it's a thieves thing. Yes. And it says House okay. of Trickery above the porch. Okay. I'd like to uh, relay this to uh, to the party. Be like, hey, this is the House of Trickery. House of Trickery? That doesn't sound good. Sounds That's appropriate is what it sounds like. Last time there was trickery, I was tricked into going to jail. That wasn't a trick. That was, yeah, that wasn't trickery. That was just stupidity. Okay, I mean, is there any other info that I can see based on this? Like, or should I just, or should we just, like, just leave this house? Because... There's nothing else. You, you don't see any other symbols. You start looking around because you're like, oh, if there's symbols there, there's got to be some somewhere else. You don't see any other symbols. I think this, this house is just a dead end. <laughs> so maybe we should just move on. As as you say that, the, the mouth comes out the front of the house this time. Hope you had fun. And then it kind of goes back into the house. We we didn't, but uh, yeah. I did. I will remember you. You are my favorite house. Granovic. Next time you yes. get in trouble, just run straight here. Okay. Unless unless they figure out how to get out, they won't be able to leave. But wouldn't he be uh, trapped in there with them? No, That's what I was thinking. The, push him on the porch and you walk away. You gives you plenty of time to run away. Oh, uh, okay, that makes uh, sense. All right, next house, <laughs> I guess. 
Okay. Yes. So. Anyway, <laughs> next house. Somebody else is going up on the porch first, though. I'll go. Okay, you go up. Knocking on the door. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is anyone there? Anyone? Are there any symbols on this house? No, there are no symbols on this house that you can see. Okay. Well, that's good. Eldon's on the street looking around. What's up with the windmill? How could, is it moving? The blade moving? Yeah. It's a cool looking windmill. Yep, there's one there. Ooh, and there's go. two on the southeast side and there's two on the southwest side around the, around the fields. Oh, great. voice coming out of the house sound like a child? Um, it kind of sounds like you, but doesn't sound like you. Huh. Is this another trick house? House? And we hear everything that's going on right now? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll go up and uh, with Claire and also knock on the door and be like, hey, hey. Hey. Well, that's not nice. Can we come in? Come in. Okay, thank you. Door's locked. I tried the door. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what is it with this place? <laughs> I don't like it. Is there, a, like, a an actual lock on this door? Or is it just... Yes, you know, there's an actual lock budget. on the door. All right, I'd like to try to pick the lock if I could. All right, give it a shot. All right, so what did I? What would I roll for that? Uh, sleight of hand. Okay, that's what I thought. I was gonna say you could invent something called the thievery check. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that didn't work. All right, you can do that. Do you have these tools on you? I believe so, yes. Let me do let me just double check that. Cause they should be able to give you a bonus as well. Wait, I guess maybe I not. Huh, I could have sworn that I did. Yeah, no, I do not. Okay. Uh, you are just about to get it, and it just kink, and it doesn't doesn't seem to get in the right spot for you. Oh. I tried, everybody. Tried. That's getting annoying. Get. <laughs> are you like? Was that a? A uh, uh, an order or <laughs> so Claire, you're on the on the porch still. You can sense like two feet, but there's something weird about the feet. They don't quite touch the ground the same way feet do. They 
there's they're, there's a strange shape um, to them. There's something in there. I don't think it's a person. The feet kind of weird. Hmm. Are they big feet? They're normal size, but they kind of split off. Like this. Yeah. So, little talon like. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Alright, um. Can I see if I can tell what this is? Because I, you know, out of game, I feel like I know what it is, but. Um. Roll a history check for me now. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. I have no, no idea. <laughs> no idea. Three will no. not will not aid you in this matter. Hmm. Now Claire, you're trying to think of the feet. And you're trying to remember if you've seen anything like it before. And well, sensed anything like it before and the only thing you recall is when that bird landed on your shoulder and the kind of shape that it felt guys the, the the feet behind the bird behind the door feel bird like bird walks up to the and knocks on the door to the two bits. Can you open the door? Open door. Yes, please. You hear a click. Oh, I didn't realize it would be that simple. Felden goes to the handle and goes to open the door. The door opens. Hi! Hi! How are you? Kind of... you? I'm okay, I'm okay. Have you seen any kids around here? Now that the... So standing before you is a humanoid sized bird. And the bird looks at you and when you say see can you repeat what you said one more time so I don't have you seen any kids around here when you say that it tilts towards you tilts its head a little bit trains back up and lets out this childish scream oh Have you seen where she went? Or know Man. where she went? And it starts running out the out the out the doorway. I gotta follow. I think we just got our first let's, lead. Let's follow. But I have to know, is, is it a Kenku? Because yes. it's it's really bothering me. Yes, okay. it is. <laughs> it's like what can oh, I make things interesting for this group to find? So, so it goes that, that my, my out of game knowledge. It goes to the east and ducks behind into an alleyway and begins running down through the alleyway. I'm trying to keep up with it as best as I can. Okay. I live behind. Same. And yep. it I stops. Don't only carry me I scramble and to stop. There's 
an alleyway straight ahead and there's one that goes to the left and it looks both ways went you don't know which way it went it looks back at you went yes or no or Did it go both ways? I tilt his head. Or... Can I do a perception check to see if I see anything, like, on the alleyways, any signs, anything that would look out of place? Sure. Um, you look around... And it looks like the buildings in this alleyway are all abandoned. Boarded up, broken windows. Tattered rags hanging in windows. Okay. But on the outside, it doesn't seem anything out of the ordinary. I turn to Claire. Claire, while we're at this area seems abandoned. Do you sense anything besides us nearby? As far as Claire can tell at your level, there is no other impressions. Impressions? Like any feet or anything that are your typical signs of movement Here. Here. And it shrugs. Do you know of anyone else that went missing? Did they come this way too if they did? Takes a moment. Missing. And then it lets out a scream of another young child. Just shrugs. Okay. So where exactly are we at on the map? Um, you are in the alleyways between um, the two larger buildings in this bottom southeast central of that bottom street. Like the tan roof okay. and the red roof. You're in one of the alleyways in between those sections of the buildings. Okay. Okay. I'd like to give our our bird friend a uh, a gold coin for helping us. Kind of takes a coin and looks at you. Just keep staring I'll at just you. Say thank you for your help. Go. Yeah, I think we can handle it from here. And the the bird walks away. Well, that was an interesting experience. So, so is is there like a door or something like that in this alleyway? There's abandoned buildings. They have doors. <laughs> That's fair. 
Um, do any of them look like they're getting any traffic? Do an investigation check sense. for me. These are doors. They are doors that see things and people coming around. Well, maybe we can ask these houses. Whichever one's closer. Okay. After you. All right, I'll tentatively knock on the closest door. All right. As you are heading over to uh, the closest door, you see a figure down the alleyway walking towards you. Somewhat as he notice us, or they notice us. It's a somewhat familiar figure, someone you've seen in the city before, wearing uh, the sleeved cloaks. Very similar stature to Nil. What are y'all doing here? No moons around this place. No, we're still looking for that moon. Do you know where it's at? Oh, you've seen the moon. I've seen you around yeah, with Echo. Sky. I've seen you with Echo. You found where you needed to go. Well, now we need to be here. I certainly found where I needed to go, apparently. But as they approach, you realize it is the the tiefling that you met when you first came into the city. Ah, it's you. Where have you been keeping yourself these days? Around. Good to know. Good to know. See, you uh, you come come here often. I mean, this is part of our territory. Whose territory? I'm sorry. Turns around and points to the the cat on his uh, sleeved cloak. Right. Right. Excuse me. I came around checking my house. I heard uh, alarms went off. A fun little place I made. Is that ah, you all having a little place. fun? Yeah, we were just, uh, you know, making our rounds, uh, meeting people, but enjoying um, the festivities, as it were. Yeah, your, your house is a little, um, rude. <laughs> I take it you didn't make it inside then, huh? Um, we could tell we were not wanted in there. Shame that. Well, y'all, don't be sticking your necks out too far. And he just turns back around and walks down the alleyway. Hi. At least I think we know where we're at. So what do you wish to do? All right, did we end up knocking on that door? Or? Nope, he stopped you before you 
Got a chance to do anything with the door? I mean, I suppose we could uh, try that again. All right, so you're knocking on the door? Sure. Silence. Hmm. All right, what about the other doors? Silence. Okay. Anybody have another idea? appears to have started in front of the House of Trickery, went past the Kenku's house, and then north. Is that right? Yeah, a little bit east and then north, yeah. And now it's kind of in the central southeastern section of the alleyways. It's where the Kenku lost track of it. Talk to who? Claw. Claw? Yeah. Does anyone have any other suggestions? Or are y'all gonna go back to the keep? Sounds good to me. Alright. Sure. Head back. So you make your way back to the keep. Um, walk up to the front gate and tell the guards you wish to speak with Claw. Um, they know of what you're investigating and they let you inside. And we are going to end right where we started. The party standing in Claw's meeting room. Not where we all started. Well, where most of you started. <laughs> where the scene started. <laughs> Yeah, that's where we're ended for the night. Cool. Went on a wild well, Kinku chase. <laughs> half an hour with the door, you know, trying to figure out something with this place. You're right, there it is. Just not what you thought. Hmm? Just, just don't know what. Right. Hmm. Thanks everyone for joining us once again. We'll be live again in a couple weeks. Um, for those of you watching it on YouTube, come over to the Twitch channel Wednesday nights. Every other Wednesday we have a live episode where you can see all the action first and get a head start on what the heck's going on. Um, so thank you all again and be sure to join us next time where every adventure is made of dice 